Hi, this is a video to show you how to work out the averages and create a graph for your water rockets experiment. Firstly, I'm going to write down what my independent variable is here. So for example, for this example, uh, I'm gonna put length of rocket. So that would have meant I would have built two rockets one that's short and one that's longer. And then I would write down here or delete which one I would record for my dependent variable, either time in the air or flight distance. For this example, I'm gonna say I recorded flight distance. So I'm gonna delete time. And then I would write down the distances that I recorded for both the shorter rocket and the longer rocket. Once I've done that, then I can start working out the averages. And for this, I'm going to highlight the table, control C or copy, open up a new window, sheets.new. And then I'm going to copy the table in. Again, Control V or right click paste. And then I'm going to highlight the three numbers that I want to work out the average. Go to the sum, which is that function button there, the function button, sorry, and then the click on average. And it should work out the average there for me. Okay. And I can see there, I don't need all the numbers there, so I'm going to round that down to 14. And then we got 12 there, and it's already worked out. Now I'm going to make my graph. So I'm going to highlight my independent variable there. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to highlight here. I don't need here, um, it's just the flight distance, the average flight distance. So I'm going to highlight that, Control C, Control V there. So really I've made a new table. And then I'm going to highlight this table here and then insert chart. And hopefully it should make a chart for me. And I can see clearly here that the shorter rocket has gone an average longer distance. So from that I can make my conclusion. So I'm going to click on the three dots there, copy chart, go back, insert, control V. I don't need to link it to the spreadsheet. And from this, I can make my conclusion that the shorter the rocket, based on my uh, data, the longer the distance it traveled.